Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, we're not patterning anything. We're just gonna see if we can't get this uh, Turkish warthog here to cycle. Now, we had it in a previous video. It was uh, black powder 12 gauge loads at the range. And uh, it didn't run, you know, good at all. There is a big bright orange sticker in the box that says this firearm requires uh, 1300 plus ammo. And uh, we didn't have any, we just had some, you know, double A loads, Winchester. And those did not cycle the gun, but off camera, we fired some ounce and a quarter Federals at 1440 FPS, number four shot. And uh, it didn't cycle those either. We also fired some three inch buckshot and all kinds of good stuff out of it. Nothing would cycle. So, uh, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of oil in it now. Didn't clean it, but it only had like maybe 30 shells run through it. Mag tube extension didn't come with the gun. Or, you know, it didn't come attached to the gun from the factory. This was aftermarket. But uh, I've got that installed. Cylinder board choke because we have some slugs. Hard cast slugs. And uh, trigger is, you know, pretty decent. It's not the lightest trigger in the world, but it's also far from the heaviest. I put this other charging handle on it. I think it looks pretty cool. Actually, you know what? The whole gun looks pretty cool. But um, if it don't cycle, what's the point in looking cool if you can't, you know, cycle? Some more things you should know about it. It has a 20 inch chamber and it was made in Turkey, not Turkey. It has a 20 inch barrel, three inch chamber. Imported by Legacy Sports in Reno, Nevada. The gun weighs like maybe six and a half pounds. It's pretty light. But, you know, being so light, it does have quite a bit of recoil with hotter shells. I will say, it does have a very nice soft recoil pad on it. But, like I said, with hotter loads, it does have quite a bit of recoil because it is so light. The finish is nothing spectacular. As you can see, it shows even very light nicks, scratches, all that stuff. But what can you expect from a $150 shotgun? The safety is just weird. It's kind of hard to engage, a lot harder than that other shotguns. The bolt release here is, not bolt release, but the shell release. It's stiff, it's hard to use. It takes Benelli chokes or Beretta, just a white front sight bead. And don't worry guys, I've got a tourniquet here just in case the uh, gun goes south on us. We're starting off with some Fiocchi, uh, nine pellet double lot, which is actually single lot in here. These are running uh, 1325 FPS. The gun has to be cocked before you can load it. It's kind of hard to do when your hands are full. There's one. Two, three, four, twenty-seven. This gun holds eight plus one. All right. Let's... It's all right. Those had like no recoil. So, uh, find me five. Alrighty, guys, I've got here five. They're just ounce and a half turkey loads, is all they are. Nothing real special. Let's see if it cycles these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double fed. It triple fed, my friend. That's weird. All right, you got four of them in here now. That's, that, I think that was my fault. I'm sure, but let's see if it runs. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Let's try some hot stuff. Well, 
Alrighty guys, we've got, you know, blessings from the guy that sent this gun. So we're going to feed it 700 grains of long shot just now and see what happens. It's not really 700 grains, but it's 37 grains of long shot and a 690 round ball. Should be moving like 1600 FPS. But uh, let's see if it'll run these. Get my beard off the stupid stock. It pulled the, case, uh, the rim off the case. I see that now. That is actual published load data too. That is not something we just come up with and it pulled the rim off the case. That's interesting. Well, well I guess let's continue on. Bump it. No, oh, the charging handle. Smack it forward like a man. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's not really going so well. Check this out, though. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, you can see the Fioki stamp in there. Hmm. Let's try this a three inch. All right. All righty, guys. I've got here two factory federal 15 pellet double lock three inch shells. Surely to God, if anything's going to make it cycle, it'll be these. I would think. Tally ho, lads. Nope. That one kicks a lot harder. I don't know what the hell it was. Oh, God. This thing definitely is a warthog, fat and smelly. All right, these are just factory uh, federal ounce and an eighth slugs. I don't know the velocity. It's not listed on the box, nor any website that these are sold on. So Try to Stop. hit the smiley face in the right eye. All right. There's the no stock's holes there. working its way loose. It almost cycled that one. Almost. <laughs> you guys ever had that happen on you? Look like a bad night at Taco Bell. It'd be a good night around the bonfire. This gun is just not working. They just got out five shells quicker than anything I've ever seen out of a shotgun. Or four, should I say, not five. You see what it's doing every single time? It's just hanging up just like that. It just takes a little smack to get it to close. I wonder if it's that bolt handle. Have we got the factory charging handle for it? I do, yeah, but not with us. It no. could be that. It might be hanging up on the rail. Cause it's right there in that thin spot. Yeah. Alrighty guys, I've got one in here already, but these are factory heavy shots, heavy steel, three inch house and a quarter of a uh, BBs. Maybe it'll cycle these. Maybe it's a duck gun. Maybe. Duck, <laughs> goose gun. It's a pig gun, it's a warthog. Right now, it's getting ready to be a dump gun. So don't dump this mag, it's getting dumped in the creek. <laughs> be smart, remember how to run this thing. Safety's off, let's see what happens. My bet says it's gonna run. You just lost that bet. I sure it is. It didn't even... It's so weird. This gun, it, we know how to use a semi-auto, guys. This gun is just not cooperating with us. Sometimes the buttons don't work. No, that time there, it didn't feed. And then whenever I hit the shell release, it released it. It fed, but the, back, the bolt didn't go forward. And then it double fed. <laughs> oh, God.
I ain't even gonna waste another good factory shell through you. The choke was loose. The stock is unbelievably loose. But I I'm gonna keep it for a week. I'm gonna take it all apart. And we'll polish everything there is to be polished on the inside rails and everything else. And if it don't run, then y'all decide it's faith. The guy that sent it to us did say we could blow it up if we want to. If we can't get it to run. Now, I don't want to blow up a gun that we can make run, but so far... I don't want to blow up a gun either, but it would be spectacular. Uh, I guarantee you, it wouldn't be no little pop. There'll be pieces here to, I don't know how... All right, guys, this is just a mixed bag of two and three quarter and two and a half inch shells. They're all hand loads, but uh, stock's getting awful loose on it. So this might be the last five we can put through it. Safety. Hey. What? Two and a half. This is a two and a half, yeah. I'm trying to watch my finger from getting pinched right there in the stock. I can't believe it cycled the first one. I can't either. This is getting awful sketchy to run like this. Look at that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't think we should fire any more out of this with the stock like that. That's risking just pinching the crap out of your fingers. Runs great, guys. Great shotgun. I love it. I'd take that thing to battle right now. <laughs> the Enterprise is what it wants. Semi auto, the Enterprise is a bolt gun. Alrighty guys, back home now. I took this thing apart down to the smallest piece and uh, gave it a brutal cleaning. So um, next time we have this thing out, let's hope it'll run better. The inside of the gun is now, you know, polished and shiny. The bore is all squeaky clean. Cleaned off the bolt face. I took all the guts out of the gun. Sprayed it all down with uh, high pressure hot water. Got all the gunk out of it. Turns out when I was um, cutting down the uh, mag tube, you know, you have to file the end of it off to be able to get the extension on it. I got a bunch of aluminum shavings down in the gun and that, I don't think that's what was causing the gun to hang up, but it could have been. But you guys can see it's clean as a whistle now. Mr. Warthog is still there. I cranked the stock down as tight as it would possibly go and then gave it a little bit more just to be uh, sure. So I dare that thing to come loose again. The guy that sent us this paid 150 for the gun and said he decided he likes uh, pumps better. So uh, he wanted to send us this. He also sent along the mag tube extension. And yes, I do have the barrel band, but I stripped it out, tightening it in. The thing is so cheaply made that uh, just tightening it strip the screw and now it just hangs loose that's why the marcus on the barrel right here under recoil it slid forward and um if i wasn't clear what i was saying a second ago uh you couldn't tighten the screw tight enough to keep it from walking forward and i over tightened it trying to fix that issue and it just you know the screw stripped i'm pretty sure we were kidding when we said we were gonna blow the gun up earlier but you know who really knows with us we mentioned earlier the guy that sent us this did say we could you know blow it up so that is an actual option here we really don't want to blow it up it certainly looks pretty cool and i tell you what we are really appreciative of him sending us this i'm not sure if he wants names so i'm not going to name him but uh yeah highly appreciate this this thing is actually awesome if we can get it to cycle it would be awesome anyway i like the weight of it it looks cool not that you know looking cool has anything to do with real world scenarios but it does look cool i think i failed to mention earlier but the gun does ship with a cylinder bore modified and full choke to speak about the finish for a second well guys i can't uh i can't say anything positive about it honestly you can see right here in the middle of the screen we got some wear marks 
some wear marks there. Some on the bottom of the gun. Quite a few on this side, I believe. Yeah, a little. You can see them there. And those are scratches. The bluing is missing where you see those lines. Uh, right here is a bad one. That's how poor this finish is. Not good at all. And to make matters worse, that is only its second trip to the range. I had this thing in, you know, the car and uh, in the back seat, all safe, protected, all that good stuff. All we did was just handle it and shoot it, you know, laid on a table here and there, but yeah, the finish just sucks. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. It certainly was a lot of fun to make, just like all the range videos are, and the reloading videos, too. Anyway, please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you got any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section down below. We will get back to you. If you want to, go check out our Patreon. A link to that is in the description below. It's as low as a dollar a month, and every penny we get goes right back into the channel. A link to our uh, Rumble and Instagram will also be there. But until next time, you guys take it easy. We will see you in the next one.